ورسٹائل مسلمہ السلام علیکم برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز فاطمہ بنت الخطاب شی واز دا سسٹر آف عمر ابن الخطاب دا سیکنڈ کیلف آف اسلام اینڈ ہر ہسبینڈ واز سعید ابن زید ون آف دا ٹین پرامسڈ جنا شی ہیڈ اے پیور ہارٹ دیٹ واز فری فرام دا فلتھ اینڈ ڈیویشنز آف دا ایج آف اگنورنس Her purity met with Saeed's and then the two noble elements were joined together in marriage that gave birth to a pure Islamic home with untainted seeds of Iman that in turn produced ripe fruits. It is enough of an honor and glory for her and her husband that Allah made them the cause of Umar's acceptance of Islam. Truly Allah guides whomever He wills to the straight path. One day when Umar رضی اللہ عنہ was sitting in the company of some Qurayshi chiefs in discussion within the courtyard of Kaaba, they were troubled by the spread of Islam. They hated Muslims for not believing in their idols. Umar then a non-Muslim became extremely enraged. He stood up and decided to kill Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم. On his way to the Prophet, a man from Banu Maghzum met him and saw the rage in his face. He asked Umar where he was going. Umar answered to Muhammad ibn Abdullah, I want to kill him and free the Arabs from his trial. This man then told him, Do you think that the clan of Abdul Manaf would leave you if you kill him? Put your own house in order first. Your sister Fatima and your brother-in-law, they have followed Muhammad. Umar then changed his direction and headed towards the house of his sister Fatima. Until that moment, the call to Islam was done secretly to safeguard the lives of new Muslims and protect their faith. Hazrat Khabbam bin Arat was one of the secret da'is of Islam and was in charge of contacting Saeed and Fatima. When Umar radhi Allah anha arrived at the house of his sister, he heard some murmuring. He violently knocked at the door. Hazrat Khabbam quickly ran towards a corner of the house and hid. Fatima hid the script of the Quran and Saeed opened the door. Umar radhi Allah anha asked, What was this murmuring I heard? They denied that there was any murmuring. He then addressed them harshly. It was then Fatima confronted him boldly and said in a loud and clear voice, without fear, that she and her husband had accepted Islam. All of a sudden, Umar began beating Saeed. When Fatima ran to defend her husband, Umar gave her a brutal slap on her face and she began bleeding. It was the sight of his sister's blood that melted Umar's heart. Fatima gave him the script of Quran which they were reading after Umar had cleansed himself. After reading some verses from Surah Taha, Umar radhi Allah anha was ready to accept Islam. Subhanallah! Islam changed Umar's destiny forever from a bitter enemy of Islam to the second caliph of Islam he is al farooq the distinguisher from right to wrong friends this story teaches us many lessons we all have people around us who are far away from Islam when you look at them you feel sorry for them always make dua for such people and never hate them teach them about the beauty of Islam Treat them kindly and don't judge them. You'll never know when Allah will guide them. Be like Fatima and proclaim your faith bravely for we are alhamdulillah on the right path. May Allah grant Jannatul Firdaus to Fatima bint al-Khattab and unite us all with her. I'll see you soon with a new video. Jazakallah.